Hey guys, Will here. Today we're gonna look at lighters. This is a Zippo, the worst EDC lighter out there. Stay tuned. So originally I was supposed to go with another arc lighter, but it's been over a month, so I'm not gonna wait any longer and use this uh, Zippo arc lighter as a reference. So let's go through the pros and cons of each different type of lighter. The arc lighter that goes like this, as you can see, double click, and you have this little um, arc that lights up uh, materials, flammable materials. So pros of the arc, it is wind resistant, clean, easy to refill. It takes a micro USB for any arc lighter, uh, not susceptible to any altitude problems. Uh, Cost is cheap. Originally the one I bought is like around $6 ship. Storage is good, meaning that uh, long term it can hold its power for a long time. Cons of a arc lighter, uh, let's say you got a small lighting area, so it's a little bit more finicky when you're trying to light something. Uh, for example, like lighting up a stove, you're gonna have a big burst like close to your hand. Uh, short duration, only about 10 seconds. We get about 10 seconds of lighting and uh, the weight. Uh, weights of arc gliders tend to be heavy, and I believe that's due to the battery that's uh, contained inside. So let's continue on. The iconic Zippo <laughs> lighter. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. The sound of it is also very iconic. Pros, wind resistant with this uh, little wind guard here. Uh, altitude, no problem. That's due to the fuel. Zippo lighter fluid is very good. Uh, you can have long lights. You can basically light it up and just leave it lit for a long time. And uh, it will have no effect on it. You basically can burn out the, the fuel if you wanted to. Um, let's see, no bolt button to hold as you have it lit. So there's no, uh, if you had to have a long light for for a while, you can just, just put it towards it and not have to worry about holding a button. Uh, bomb proof, bomb proof construction. You can throw this off a skyscraper and I bet it'll still work. Um, a meteor can land on top of it and it'll still work. Uh, and, uh, you can also refill it before outing. So it's refillable. So it has like a kind of advantage. You can just refill it before outing. So you don't have to worry about the, um, any emptiness. Uh, and it takes also emergency fuels. They claim that you can also use aviation fuel, car fuel, etc. With it, uh, con, it's a bit heavier. Zippo lights are heavier than other type of lighters. Uh, the footprint is bigger than other type of lighters as well. Uh, and it's not so clean. When you refill it, you're gonna get the lighter fluid on your hands. There's also, when you open it, there's a smell. So um, that's also something to consider. Now let's go over to a peanut lighter. And these are also referred to as um, maybe like a pill lighter. And these are really, really compact, uh, really light. Um, similar to the pros of a Zippo using the lighter fluid, uh, all that bomb proof, wind, uh, wind is actually a problem. You know, altitude is no problem. You can hold the long lights if you wanted to. Um, using the same sort of flint and fuel function where you fill up a reservoir, light it like so, like that. And then let me blow that sucker out. E. Actually, there's, I can, as I'm opening it, there's fuel on my hand. So that's what I mean about the cleanliness about it. Probably because I just refilled it before I closed it up. So that's, uh, yeah, when I say it's, uh, these things are not as clean as other lighters, I really mean it. So uh, uh, what else? Let's see. Waterproof, you got an O-ring, waterproof design, long storage because of the O-ring. So that's something to consider. Form factor, super small, super light, awesome. Uh, cons of it, uh, the smaller form factor is, it, it means that your hand could get burned like in some kind of windy situation. Uh, it's just a smaller footprint to hold on to. Uh, it is not wind resistant at all. And it, as you see, it's not cl as clean. Okay, now let's go to this butane lighter, classic disposable butane that you light up. Let's see if we can get that. See, that's what I mean about this butane lighter. All right, it didn't light up on the first hit. And this is typical butane. Um, butane's pro, windproof. You can point it at what you want to light it up to. Lightweight, you can see the fuel level of it. Those are nice and it's nice and clean, but the con is finicky. Usually these things just 
uh, not necessarily light on the first time. They use piezo, uh, these kind of piezo lighting system, which creates a spark. And those also are not durable uh, either if you hold like a longer burn, they end up kind of melting and melting the parts. So whatever, it ends up like a hot mess. So those pros and cons, butane lighter. Let's go over to the uh, also iconic Bic lighter that most preppers most preppers will have. And the reason they have it is because it is super reliable. Pros, uh, uh, let's see, it is small, is relatively small. It's a lightweight, it's cheap, reliability, like I said, it lights on the first, first one. First try anytime. Uh, cons, of course, the wind is not windproof. There's nothing to guard from the wind. You have to hold a button to light it up. Uh, it's also, you might have accidental lighting. If you had something like in your bag and then it could be releasing the fuel as, as, you, uh, you, as you don't realize it. Uh, fuel level, what is the fuel level of this? You can't even see it, right? Do they even make a clear version of the, the BIC? Maybe not. So you're gonna have to shake it or what I would recommend to people is that you actually weigh it, weigh it when it's new and weigh it when it's empty and just, you can figure out how much fuel level is in there or just buy a brand new one before you go over some kind of like outdoor trip. Uh, just buy a brand new one and make sure it's full that way. Okay, that's, let's go over to my chart. Okay, here we are at my chart that I made onto the column A. You'll notice wind, altitude, fuel available, clean size, weight, cost, heat durability, drop durability, waterproof looks and storage, all different types of characteristics that you may consider when buying a lighter. And then the top, we have the different types of lighter are Zippo, Peanut, Butane, Bix. And these are my points because sometimes some of these characteristics actually might not even matter to you. So let's go through everything through my chart and see if we can find out what's the best EDC lighter or, or you know, or you can just bring out your own pen and paper and decide yourself, keep score yourself. So starting from the arc, wind, of course the arc, it is windproof, altitude, no problem. It's using electricity and the arc technology. There's no problem with the wind. Fuel availability, you just plug into the micro USB. So it's fuel is available everywhere. You can probably just go to a cafe and ask the cafe owner to top it up for you if you ran out. Uh, it's clean, of course, running off of battery and electricity. There's no smell, nothing to get dirty with. Uh, size, size is relatively small uh, for this type of lighter. Weight, uh, weight, I would say no. It's it's because it's because uh, the battery. I think they tend to be a little bit heavier. Costs they're cheap. Normally, uh, arc lighter. The one I originally ordered is around six dollars ship. They're not so expensive. You can get di many different types, and they're they're not going to cost you a lot. Uh, heat durability. They're only going to run around ten seconds. Not any more anywhere longer. So, you know that's something to consider. Uh, drop durability. Uh, it's electronics and stuff like that. I. I don't think it's gonna have any kind of drop durability. You know, it's really gonna have every type of finicky, uh, you know, protection of a uh, any kind of electronic device. Waterproof, not waterproof. Looks, it's just I don't think there's any looks to it. Storage, yes, there is storage. Batteries last a while. I never had a battery that ran out within a year, so that's no problem at all. Zippo, Zippo is wind resistant. Definitely wind resistant. Uh, altitude. Let's see, uh, the altitude, no problem with it because it's using lighter fluid, fuel availability, I'm gonna say uh, no because you just can't find it in any convenience store. You, you, I had to go to a hardware store to get zipper lighter fluid. Your mileage may vary for yourself, clean, no, it's not clean, it's, there's a smell. It gets on your fingers when you refill it. The size is not the smallest, weight is not the lightest, cost, it costs more than other, uh, there's a, a lot of variability to different types of zip, zipples depending on the material, but the cost is de generally not cheap. Heat durability, you can run it down to anything you want. You, if you want to just empty the fuel and run it for like 15 minutes, you could. No problem. Drop durability, it is absolutely bomb proof. Like I said, it's going to get a score for that because bomb proof, waterproof, it is not waterproof at all. And that's why there's some kind of uh, people talking about evaporation problems. Looks, uh, Zippos, they have many different styles. Looks is one of the great things about a Zippo. They have really great look. Storage, as I said, storage long term, uh, it's, it may evaporate. From what I talked from other friends and what I read online, most people think it's maybe three to four days for it to go empty. I have actually tested a Zippo versus a peanut. 
that has a the o-ring and the zippo it's still going on i have a zippo that's that's lasting more than a week and uh that zippo it, i lit three to six times per day each day it, it's over a week now and it's still running so the people who are using getting three to four days evaporation problem i think the idea of Zippo's evaporating has actually been overstated. It's actually not so much of a problem. And I think that it's mainly due to people fidgeting with it and opening the lid when, when they're actually not lighting it. So I think that's, there's a part of that kind of uh, in regards to this uh, evaporation uh, idea. Okay, let's go to the Pina. Pina, when it is not wind resistant, uh, it does have alt altitude, it, uh, no problem, because it's running off a of lighter fluid. Fuel availability, same as Zippo. It's not available everywhere. It's also dirty like the Zippo. Size, uh, micro size is really awesome. Weight, because the micro size is very light. Cost, the, I paid less than $2 shipped for my uh, my little peanut, stainless steel peanut lighter. And uh, they're very cheap, so you can buy like a ton of them, actually store in different areas. Uh, heat durability, you can run it as long as you want until it runs, the fuel runs out, drop. Is much like the Zippo is bulletproof. That kind of design, flint and fuel wick, this kind of thing is a really uh, very bombproof design. It is waterproof with the O-ring. It looks, uh, I think the looks is actually a plus for the peanut lighter. I think it looks great in your like IG mixed with the other EDC items. I think a very kind of clean design. And look, storage, it can go storage for a long, long time because the O-ring, you're not gonna have evaporation problem whatsoever. Okay, let's go to the butane. Butane wind, it is wind resistant. It is not altitude resistant because it's, it's running off a pressurized liquid. Uh, they need that pressure. As soon as that, uh, the, you lose that pressure, it's just butane doesn't function in high altitude. Um, whether that is a characteristic that you have to consider, that's up to you. Fuel availability, uh, not applicable. It's disposable, clean, it is clean. Size is, size is okay. Weight, weight is lightweight. Cost is very cheap. Heat durability, it is no no. That's the when you run them long, they just destroy the the electronics or the piezo, and the plastics internal it is really awful. Um, is awful for long term. Uh, drop durability, plastic and parts, it's just not as durable. Waterproof, it's not waterproof. Looks, it's ugly. Storage, uh, storage is okay. The one that you see that uh, that I film, that one's probably at least two years old. So it, um, no problem with losing any of this fuel. Let's go with the iconic Bic. Wind, it is not windproof. Altitude is not altitude proof because it's like the butane. It's running off a, the, it's lighting a gas, a liquidified as a gas liquid, like turns into gas. That's what's being lit. So an altitude problem. Fuel available, not, not applicable. Clean, yes, it's clean. Size is good. Weight is super lightweight. Cost, super lightweight. It's disposable. Heat durability, yes, that it does have heat durability. If you want to hold, as long as you want to hold down that, that, that trigger, it can run all day long. It's just because you have that flint design that's nothing's going to, there's no electronics to melt. You really could just run it down if you wanted to. Drop durability, it's plastic. It's just not going to be drop proof, not waterproof. But for Bix, you can, if they get wet, you can dry them out and they'll end up working. Looks uh, not so, it's just very boring. Storage, storage, yes, uh, Bix lasts a long time. It just doesn't evaporate the fuel. Uh, you can keep it for years and uh, it'll still be working. So let's go over the total of these points. If you consider all these points and if you consider they are all applicable to you, you'll see that the peanut lighter is actually at the top at nine, uh, with the second being the arc. And then we are coming at the butane and big, and with the Zippo at the bottom, whoa. So is the Zippo the worst EDC? Whoa. I don't know if it would be EDC, but is it the worst lighter because of maybe, but because of its fuel availability, size, maybe the weight, the cost, all this stuff, it's not waterproof, it evaporates, you know, these things. But for some people, this is what I mean. You have to look at these kind of characteristics all the characteristics and you have to decide between yourself does these matter or does this not matter to you so let's go over to my points this is my points and uh this is just random what i think matters to me uh for wind wind it is windy where i am uh at night especially so i have to consider i would like it to be windproof if possible altitude is no problem I have no altitude problem fuel available i don't even care about that because actually i know where to buy zipper Zippo lighter fluid. So actually fuel is not so much of an issue for me 
cleaner smell. It's not so much an, an issue for me as well. I'm not putting this thing in my suit pants. It's going in EDC bag, so it's it's I'm okay. I'm okay with if it's being a little bit dirty. Size and dimension. Uh, yes, I would like to consider size, the size dimension and the weight. These two things I would like to consider because uh, for everyday carry means everyday carry means that you want a, an item that's very light weight and very small as possible because if in order to carry uh in order everyday carry means that you're going to carry it every day and if you want an item to be this these kind of characteristics so that you carry it every day you know when you have something a little bit bigger then you, you actually might consider not to carry it and then at that time you might actually need it so something very very uh is a character that i think is very important uh heat durability yes uh because i'm in a tropical area i i think there might be a time where there might be a, a, a material that might be flammable when it's dry, but it could be damp or wet for whatever reason. Maybe it's a, there's a heavy rain or whatever, or if I'm prepping and I'm outdoors for, in the field for whatever reason. Uh, and, the, and the stuff is wet. I just want to run the lighter a little bit longer to sort of dry and then ignite the material. So I would like to have a heat durable, the durability of the heat. Uh, drop durability, sure, why not? Because, you know, you want it to be rugged. Uh, waterproof, sure, again, I'm in tropical area. Uh, waterproof would be nice. Looks, I'm about the IG life like all y'alls. Otherwise, you'd be buying Bix and stuff like that because I would like, you know, something that looks good. Why not? Uh, storage, yes, storage. I don't smoke, so uh, I don't need a lighter every day. I probably would use a lighter once every two weeks or maybe once a week. Um, you can use it for different things like uh, lighting candles and whatever stuff and lighting up different like clothing threads to kind of seal them off. There's a little different function, but I don't, I don't think I have to like sell you on the, uh, the functions of a lighter because um, it's, it's quite useful when you need it in emergency. So storage, if you're not like a smoker, you're, you're not using it every day, uh, storage would be nice. And um, so let's go over to Zippo Arc. And what I mean by Zippo Arc is that what if I combine my Arc, that is an Arc insert of in, that goes into Zippo. Zippo actually offers many different types of inserts. So uh, you actually could, if you wanted to, uh, just change the lighter to a modern or old style or old style durable, like they've survived World War II, or, you know, modern butane, modern Arc, you know, if you wanted to. So that's quite, that's quite good, you know, good on the company that they really uh, expand it out that way. So if I, you were to combine a Zippo with the Arc insert, how would that affect the points? It would still be windproof, still be altitude proof, it'll be super uh, fuel available with the micro USB electric, like, uh, electricity is very good, it's very clean of course, but then uh, it doesn't affect the size, the cost, whatever. Uh, the, the heat, the durability, no, it has the, has the limitations of Arc drop, it has a Electronics is just not as durable. It's not waterproof. Uh, let's go over the looks, uh, especially waterproof. If you think about the electronics, if you dunk it in water, it probably it's just going to completely fail on you. Uh, looks, let's see, looks is still there, and now you have the storage. As you uh, uh, introduce an arc you, uh, into the Zippo, you have the Zippo looks with the storage of an arc and with the clean cleanliness of the arc and the fuel availability of the arc. So, uh, and then that score, it rises a little bit from five to six. So it's a little bit better in the mid range, uh, not as good as a peanut. And then funny enough that my points, it actually dropped. So actually, if I'm honest with myself, I should actually keep the Zippo with its original, its original design with the lighter fluid. I should keep it that way, but, uh, maybe I won't, uh, we'll see. So, uh, is the Zippo the worst EDC? It can possibly be. It depends on how you view this. You guys just set up your own type of characters and scored yourself. But there's another, there's a couple other intangibles and tangibles that the, must be considered with a Zippo. And th these other tangible, tangibles are like the heirloom factor. And yes, a Zippo has an heirloom factor. Uh, it's kind of a product that you can hand down to your kid. I mean, some people are will have a Zippo that maybe came from the parents or came from the grandparents. And uh, that's kind of awesome. Like, I think people really appreciate heirloom design uh, products that can be passed down through generations. So plus 10 for that, it's like, and then what if it's a gift? I think gifts, Zippo makes an awesome gift. So plus 50 for that, uh, this, my Zippo myself that I have 
is a gift from my brother. So that has more uh, has more value in that in that way. It's something that maybe I want to carry more because it represents something uh, from somebody. So that's something to us to consider. Invest what investment? A lighter as an investment? Are you nuts, Will? What are you talking about? Plus one hundred for that. The Zippo is crazy in the lead. Uh, investment. Imagine buying a lighter and actually increasing value. What? What the heck? This particular lighter that I actually have is a titanium one. And uh, funny enough that I didn't even realize its value. One of my friends was, I was just telling my friend, oh, I bought a, a arc insert for my Zippo. And he's like, for my titanium Zippo. And he's like, oh, you have a titanium Zippo. And he said, oh, is that titanium coated or full titanium? I said, it's full titanium. And he, and he says, oh, those are worth a lot. And I'm like, what? And he said, those are worth $800. I was like, what? And uh, so I went to go check. And uh, I think it's exaggerating a little bit. I think if you had a brand new titanium zippo it would be worth eight hundred dollars maybe for a used one it's worth five hundred dollars so wow this titanium zippo that i actually own is worth five hundred dollars i have no idea how much it cost originally i think it was back from 2003 and it's a work i supposedly i guess it's rare so imagine owning a lighter that actually appreciated in value so that is something that's quite unique and i think unique to only certain products and uh, especially like a Zippo, so uh, that's I have to consider that as a factor. Plus 100. Wow, the Zippo is in a league of its own. Fidget factor. Hello, uh, the Zippo is very iconic for its sound, clicking sound, and and being able to pop it open in multiple different ways. In fact, I remember owning a Zippo probably when I was a teen teenager. I wasn't even smoking or something. People just think it's cool just to play around with. And uh, it's, it actually, it is fun to play around with. I know fidget's not gonna matter to most people and it's probably why it's been evaporating for people quite soon. They've probably been fidgeting with it. That's the reason why. Um, but if you don't fidget with it, I think it actually lasts a little longer than people actually think the evaporation is, has been kind of overstated. So, well, you know, I think uh, the Zippo actually, despite uh, some of the characters, it ended up in the lead because all these, uh, quite unique characteristics and that uh, that just adds to its value and it just makes it more unique uh, I would recommend also if I guess you if you're looking quite plainly uh, the peanut lighter is, is quite good it's using very simple design just much like the Zippo and it's a uh, you have o-ring seal in it so uh, if you're not really into uh, if you're really into purely the function uh, you can try out the peanut lighter, um, but uh, I would actually recommend people to dive into Zippos if possible. Um, they're quite nice. So that's it. The Zippo is not the worst EDC. You can say it, it maybe if you're, you're talking strictly uh, some certain kind of characteristics, it can be, it could be the worst. The answer is, is it the worst? No, uh, not truly. Um, it's more of a kind of clickbait title, but uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, let me just say that uh, actually I have a couple more other lighters coming in and uh, let me think, this lighter, I think looking over the different characteristics, it may be actually the most perfect lighter out there on the market. The most perfect in terms of functionality. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that review, make sure you subscribe because it's in the mail right now. And uh, so I would like to introduce that so-called perfect lighter out there. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and make sure you click the like and all that good stuff. You know what to do and I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Riders are really useful during this outbreak. Disinfect doors, disinfect elevator buttons.